Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 18, where we're going to talk about the break and continue keywords. All right then guys, so we're back here in the code and I've stripped out that for loop we did last time and replaced it with this even simpler one right here. So just to talk you through this, we're setting a initial uh, index variable here to be zero. Then we're going to check this variable each time around the loop. If it's less than 10, we're going to execute the code. And then each time around the loop, we're going to increment this i variable by one. And then each time we're going to console.log that variable. So it should look something like this in the console start from zero, which is what i starts at. And then all the way to nine, when it reaches 10, it's no longer true here because 10 is not less than 10. So it breaks out of the for loop. Now then, I just want to show you a couple of keywords that we can use within loops for exceptional circumstances. Okay, and the first one is the break keyword. Now, the break keyword essentially breaks you out of the loop for good. Okay, so I could say, if, for example, here, i is ever equal to 7, then let's execute this code. Remember, we did if statements in previous lessons. If you've not checked that out, go and have a look. Um, and we could say break. So what we're doing right here is going through the loop all the way up to seven. When it reaches seven, it still logs it to the console, but then it reaches this if statement right here. And if i equals seven, which it does, then it's gonna use this keyword break to break out of the loop down here. And then what we'll do is console.log, I have broken out of the loop, all right? So then it will no longer execute this code for eight, nine, and it wouldn't for 10 anyway, but it would break out of the loop at seven. All right, so let's save this and refresh over here. And there, you can see all the way from zero to seven, then at seven, it says I have broken out of the loop. All right, so we can use the break keyword to break out of the loop at any point that we want. We can check a certain condition while we're looping through certain items. And if, if we reach a point where we don't want to continue through the loop, then we can just break manually using this keyword. All right, now another thing we could do is use the continue word. And I'll do another if statement right here. And I'm gonna say if i is equal to five or if i is equal to, let's say three, then what we'll do is use the continue keyword. And continue is similar to break in that it will no longer execute any of the code below this continue word in the loop. It will just go right down here. But whereas break breaks you out of the loop completely and doesn't go back up here, the continue just says, hey, just skip out the code for this iteration of i, this loop of i. So while i is five, skip out this the rest of this code. Don't go to this. Don't go to this, just go down here, then back up to the top and start again with six. And it's the same for three. If i equals three, skip out all of this. Don't print it out to the console, just go back up to the top, okay? So it's like a weak form of break. It just says for this loop, don't execute the code for this time around, okay? So hopefully if we refresh, we shouldn't see number three and number five printed out here. So let's refresh and then, nope, I've not saved it, that's why and refresh again. And this time we don't get three and we don't get five. All right, so that is the continue and break keywords in a nutshell, guys. If you have any questions, just uh, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those, obviously. And if you enjoy these videos, please like, share, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.